Hello and welcome back. In my last video, I started to go over the uh, small grid system in Bootstrap and I introduced some of the uh, base, base classes of the, uh, of the grid system. Uh, in this video, I'm going to go up to the next uh, screen size, uh, which is a small device. And we're going to modify this layout a bit. So that's about the screen size right there. Now in my last video, you might have noticed that I set up this row here in the footer the wrong way. I have three columns here and each of them uh, have a value of 12. And I did that so that they would stack on top of each other. Now, now the correct way to do it would have been to create a row for each column in order to get this look. Um, but for my small size layout, I don't want that. In fact, I want them to be uh, three columns on the same row. Now the cool thing about Bootstrap 3 is that instead of having to create different rows and redefine classes and whatever, you can simply change the, uh, the value in here from extra small to small. And I'm going to hit Command D, and select all of these, change it to small. And instead of going across 12, I'm going to uh, make each of these four. And then I'll save it. Before I do that, I'll change the style up here too, to small. And then I'll change that to uh, four. I'll save it. Come back over here and get back up to uh, the small layout and refresh it. And you can see here that now. Uh, when I'm on a small device like a tablet or uh, you know an iPad or a Nexus 7 or something like that, uh, each of my columns now have a value of four, and they're all on the same row. And when I uh, go back down to a mobile, you'll see that they become stacked again. And now the reason for this behavior is because uh, smaller devices will not inherit the column size of larger devices. Uh, so what I'm saying is, uh, only screens that are larger than a uh, small device will take on this uh, this layout here, this one row with three columns. See, as I go larger and larger, uh, they stay the same. However, if I go smaller than a screen size with a, a small device, they become stacked. In fact, uh, if I were to change the layout above here to be large, it would only have this look on large screen and on any other screen below it would become stacked. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate that. Don't really need to, but let's see. Right there. And I'll just change these to um, large. And then I'll come up here. And I'll change all of these to large as well. And then save it. Now when I refresh, they become stacked, all of them. Because like I said, uh, the smaller screens will not inherit the layout of the larger screens. Even when I go up to small, they remain stacked. And when I go up to medium, they're still stacked. And they won't take on that layout until they become uh, large. I'm going to go back to my editor here and just undo what I did. I actually want them to be small. And there we go. Now if you notice what's happening here, uh, because Bootstrap's designed to be mobile first, the small screen layout is remaining the same uh, as screens go larger. You see. So technically, if you wanted to, you could create your whole layout using only this class and uh, nothing else if you wanted to have the same layout for each of uh, your screen sizes. Now, because mobile screens are much smaller, uh, you would probably want to restructure your content uh, on your web page and make it a little more presentable for, this, for that device. But again, that's the uh, that's sort of the beauty of mobile first 
and this whole framework is that it makes it a little more flexible and uh, easier to build on as you change the screen size. Now I want to show you another example of uh, stacking your rows on different screen sizes uh, but this time I want to do it with uh, nested columns. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go back to my file and I'm going to copy this div right here that has a class of extra small 12. I'm going to copy like that and then I'll paste it down here and I'll change this to uh, small and six and then I'll do the same for the one I just copied and pasted and I'll save it when I come back over here I'll refresh it and as you can see uh, we're still on one row however this time our nested columns uh, are split into two even columns and when I go back to a smaller screen they become stacked and uh, they take on the behavior much like these rows or this row down here did. Um, now I'm going to just give one last example of um, how you can add multiple classes to your columns to change the layout. And what I'm going to do is right up here, this this row right here, I'm going to add another column. And I'm going to also add it, uh, actually I'm going to add another column class, I should say, two of them. On the first one, I'm going to put a large 4 and a large 8. After I save it and come back over here, you'll see on extra small screens, it stays that way. Small, it remains two columns. Medium, and then finally when we get to large, it becomes a 4 and an 8. Now remember this is mobile first and I pointed out that if you have classes like this one call-large4 and call-large8 uh, your columns would then become stacked on screens that are smaller uh, than large screen. Uh, made this point in the footer. But because I have another class here on each of these columns call dash extra small six it's gonna kind of override that stacking behavior so you can see over here instead of becoming stacked uh, it's broken into two separate columns and it's gonna stay that way on your smaller devices your medium devices all the way up until you get to large then it'll take the uh, the large layout the next thing we're gonna go over is how you can change the ordering of these columns and uh, how you can even offset some of them and you can do that for different screen sizes and I'll demonstrate that um, so let's go ahead and get started let's say for whatever reason when I get to a medium size screen so that's about right there I want this column to be on the right side and then this red column to be over here on the left right next to this other one uh, Bootstrap has made a few more classes available for that and um, I'll go ahead and show you how to how to use those. I'm going to go back to my text editor and why don't we do this? It's been a while since I took some notes so I'm just going to hit enter over here and on this line I'll put uh, actually I'll go to another one I'll put ordering classes and there are two of them Jesus. first one will be uh, huh. call dash and then I'll put that which would be uh, your size, your screen size and then uh, either push or pull we'll do push first and then here will be the size of your column so if I was going to push this column right here it would be call dash large dash push dash eight so this pushes uh, your columns now the other one is the pull 
and then you set it up the same way your screen size and your columns and this pulls your columns now what I said I wanted to do was um, on screens larger than we'll go with medium we're gonna push this to the right and we're gonna pull this column to the left let's go ahead and do that 